Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another. Oh, wow! A moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Check this out. Whoa, how did that work? It's transformation of energy. Let me show you. Look at the cars on the track. When you let go of them, gravity will pull them down the track. So right now they have potential energy. Potential energy means that an object has stored energy that is waiting to be released. Letting go of the cars transforms the potential energy into kinetic energy, which is just a way of saying energy of motion. Energy transformations happen constantly. Light, sound, heat, electricity, motion, all are constantly changing from one form to another. And that's how our toy works. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. Here's how to build our toy. Take a wooden skewer and cut off the ends. We want safety first. Next, tape the edge of a rubber band to one end of your wood stick. Now, cut a straw in half. Insert the other end of your stick through one of the straw pieces all the way to the taped end. And tape the rubber band to the sides of the straw. The toy works by pulling the straw down the stick, stretching the rubber band. When the rubber band is stretched, it has potential energy because the rubber band wants to return to its original shape. The moment you let go of the straw, the rubber band snaps back, transforming the potential energy into kinetic energy that lifts the toy off the table. How high it goes depends upon how much kinetic energy it has, which is based upon how much potential energy it has. Stretch the rubber band a little, it only has a little potential energy, a little kinetic energy, and doesn't go very far. Stretch it a lot, you have a lot of potential energy, a lot of kinetic energy, and it goes really far. This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>